Well, straight racing is great racing and it'll be group action up the straight at Hillsville this Sunday afternoon. Georgie boy, we're here to take a look at the SEN 1116 Hillsville Cup and what an outstanding field, what outstanding prize money, 47k to the winner. Yeah, been up in lights, Hillsville, the last couple mm. of weeks, haven't they, with the with the National Championship and now the Hillsville Cup. It's a great field. I think it's really open. I think the tab odds show uh, how close this field is, and I think the box draw uh, certainly is very, very important in a race like this. It is. It's uh, a race that will probably be won in maybe a tick under 19 seconds. So if you do the math, it's a $47,000 race in just under 19 seconds or thereabouts. It's going to be race on from the outset. It's a race, just quickly before we take a look at the box draw, that can be won by real hardcore sprinters, but it also can be a race for the big strong dogs to wind up as they get that clear chance. Sometimes there's a little bit of uh, buffering out in front, mm. isn't there, and then it's uh, it's set up for a bit of a swooper. But as we've seen in some of those heats, a lot of these greyhounds uh, just went out and just yeah. flew out and weren't going to be caught, and um, that's going to be the key to this race. There's some really good first sectionals, wasn't there? In there those really heats? was. It was it was game set matching a lot of those races right yeah. from the outset. Let's take a look at the big one, the box draw for the Hillsville Cup. Box number one, Startron, sports the red rug, went 1897. He looks a big player. You go down to the fastest of all of the heat winners in box number four, George. That's Friday Frothies. It was just an enormous win. We'll touch on that with the replay in just a moment. Murni Onganor was impressive running second. Yeah, he was a good run. Of course, he went into the National uh, Straight Track uh, Championship as well. What do you think about his box draw? I just, uh, I know there's a little bit of speed on his inside. I just think with his early split last week, he's going to give himself every chance to win this. Yeah, well, he is beginning well, and he's a greyhound that's improved every single time he stepped out yep. at Hillsville. And he, he put together by far his fastest run there in the heats on Sunday, despite uh, getting beaten. Just take note of the reserves too, Barcia Prince and Hot Gene, both very, very handy sprinters. I think he's drawn tough Murney on and all, but if he can ping, he can run time. So it's going to be interesting. We'll start from the top with number one, Star Tron. Just taking a look at this replay now, George, from box number six. He just manhandled the field, dominated the race, 1897. And his form had probably tapered a shade coming into this Hillsville Cup, but he just announced himself back to his best. Yeah, and when we've seen the other heat winners in their times, I mean, it uh, it showed you what a great run yeah. it was. Um, look, he's drawn box one here. He's been a really good greyhound for a fair yeah. while in this sort of company, hasn't he? So he gets his opportunity from box one. Yeah, another look at a Hillsville Cup for Startron. So they say, box number two. I'm intrigued by this runner. Only lightly raced, but the concern for mine was the 666 to the first peg in the heat. But in saying that, still went 1922, and I think so they say we'll sharpen up that first section. I think we're going to hear a lot about this yeah. greyhound. We've seen him on the Circle tracks run some really fast time, I believe at Bendigo, smashing 24 seconds. Yeah. Uh, is he ready to win a race like this against some of the more seasoned campaigners? That's my only question mark. I think he's drawn really well down there in box number two. CJ's boy went 19 and 12. We move along to Friday Frothies. I really want to focus on this Greyhound because I thought, A, it was a big training effort, B, it was an outstanding heat, yeah. and uh, C, well, he's just announced himself a big, big challenger in the field after winning his heat at about 20 to 1. What did you make of it, George? Box number eight, uh, 1894, perfectly drawn, but that was his first run since the 19th of May. Yeah, as you said, he took on and beat some very, very good greyhounds. I'm a little bit worried about this box draw. He is with the master, mm. though, Cal Greeno, who uh, knows what it's uh, like to win a Heelsville mm. Cup. All Cal to excel a few years ago. Absolutely. So uh, he's certainly in contention. Eight Around the $8 mark with the tab. Yeah, and we saw in that replay just then, Mooneyong and all was the greyhound finishing second, and the top four in that race all went 1903 or under, so it was a hot heat of the Hillsville Cup. Hardaway Titan Alex at box number five, the Sydney Cider. He was placed behind Sideshow Margin, who'll jump from box six. And just quickly, George, a big, big upset, but congrats to uh, Maria and Paul, the trainers of Sideshow Margin, won at $69 in the heat. How about that? Yeah, there's always an ups upset in races mm. like this, and he was fantastic. He's drawn pretty poorly here, though, isn't he? He's going to find a little bit of trouble. Just the New South Wales Greyhounds, their strike rate, winning mm. strike rate's unbelievable. Yeah, exactly right. Maria did say she had 10 each way at the $69 as well, so well done. Emerald Rainbow drawn seven, did everything right uh, last week, ran along but needs to go quicker overall, and of course, Mooney on all box eight. That was in depth. Uh, what do you make of it, George? Who are you tipping to the punters? Yeah, look, I've gone 8, 1, 7 and 3. I've gone Murniong at all. I just think with that early speed, as you said, I think he's just becoming better and better at Hillsville. Mm. He's had a good solid, what, six weeks there at yeah. the track now. I think he gets his opportunity. Number one, Startron, you cannot leave him out on the yeah. on the back of his heat run. was outstanding. Go for a little bit of value for third in uh, Emerald Rainbow. I think he's one of the fastest breakers when he gets things right. We've seen him break five seconds at Sandown mm. in the Meadows. I know this is a different beast, but uh, you know what happens when there's a little bit of trouble behind. And then I'll go in number three, CJ's 
Chase Boy, who's an incredibly talented chaser, winning nine on the trot from New South Wales. We're normally pretty similar, George, but this time we're taking a bit of a different path. I'm going one, two, four, and eight. I'm leaning to the inside, Startron. You obviously tipped him as a big player, and I think he'll be exactly that. He just looked elite in the way he won his heat last Sunday. I'm going two, so they say, the Smokey. I just think he's going to improve that section from 666, probably to about 646, and therefore, I think right on 19 seconds, he'll run. He should get a nice card into it. I've gone the four Friday frothies, uh, mainly because of the name, also because he can run, and number eight, Mooney on an all to round out my top four. He just needs to get across. I'm just concerned, can he get past Emerald Rainbow at the start and then get across onto the rail? 20 bucks in the kitty, how do you spend it? It is a very, very open race. It is. I'm going for a little bit of value as a place. I think Emerald Rainbow from box seven. I know his runs around the 1920 mark and there's greyhounds that can go quicker. But if he can begin and show a little bit of speed, I think uh, a nice little uh, bet for a place. He's around the $12, $13 mark for a win. Well, GRV have said, uh, Jimmy, boy, here's 40 this week. I just made this up on the spot. But I'm going to have $10 each way on Startron. Yep. And then I'm going to have 20 a place on number two, so they say. I just think he's the smoky. And yep. the more I look at this race, the more I'm saying, so they say, can run a big one. Anything more to add to the uh, preview, George? No, it's a great race. And as we said, straight track racing is up and alive, isn't Ooh, it? Oh, it's great racing. I love it. Get around the SEN 1116 Hillsville Cup this Sunday. It's sure to be a cracker.